This is no one from nowhere, and you are, and I am, a spirit of God. Today I want to talk to you about I am God, Anunnaki Nanshi, Jesus, prophet of endocrine. First a joke, did you hear about the hungry clock? It went back four seconds. <laughs> Today I will show you that Jesus Christ is the CSF oil, cerebral spinal fluid, and he is the title, Christos oil, in your own mind. He is crucified in your mind once a month. Who is the Anunnaki Elohim goddess Nanshi? How does the Anunnaki goddess Nanshi relate to this? How does her star symbol, a hexagram, relate to all of this? And are you a prophet of the endocrine? First, Gospel of Thomas, saying number 17. Jesus said, I shall give you what no eye has seen, and what no ear has heard, and what no hand has touched, and what has never occurred to the human mind. Pictured here is the Anunnaki goddess Nanshi. She is accompanied by two geese and holds a vase in hand, two streams of water and fish emerging from the vessel, two six-pointed stars and two solar disks are behind the goddess. We only will discuss the six-pointed star, which is a hexagram, seal of Solomon, which does represent your heart and sacred secretion of Christ oil from your endocrine system. Who is the Anunnaki goddess in Sumerian mythology, Nanshi? She is the daughter of Enki, who is the god of wisdom, magic, and water, and Ninhursag, the earth mother goddess. She is the goddess of justice, fertility, fishing, and most importantly, prophecy. Like her father Inki, she was heavily associated with water. Her seat of power was the Sierra Temple, located in the city of Lagash. Her consort was Nindara, her birth is described in the Inki and Ninhursag myth. She is involved with her father Inki's myth, the World Order. And very important to mention, she is a goddess of social justice. She looked out for the helpless, especially poor widows and orphans, and she hated those who stole and cheated others. In other myths, she sat on golden thrones and is known for protection. And even the mighty Lord of War, Ninurta, would ask for her opinions and guidance. Nanshi, the goddess of storerooms. Quote, The lady who, like Enlil, determines fates, who is seated on the throne of Sierra. She, the pure one, looks at her powers. Nanshi is the goddess of prophecy. She has the ability to give oracle messages through dream interpretation. Her priests were also granted these abilities after conducting a ritual that represented death and resurrection, just like or similar to Jesus Christ. Next, Matthew 1.1, 1, 1, a family record of Jesus Christ, son of David, son of Abraham. He is known as the Messiah, the Anointed One, Greek, Christos. Christ is a title, not a name. The Son of Man is Christ and has twofold meanings, which is Godhead anointing, and the manhood anointing that happens in your own head and body. You crucify your own Christ oil or not. 
once a month by your very own vagus nerve. Nancy's symbol is a six-pointed star or star of David, even a hexagram. And she is also known for the pentagram. The Freemasons use it, but in addition, the swastika is a representation and goes back to the Anunnaki gods and goddesses and does represent the whirlwind of the four winds as well as a solar symbol or wheels of the chariot of the sun god. However, more importantly, it represents your very own heart chakra called the Anahacha which is your lotus flower of unconditional love in your endocrine system. Found in Philippians 4.7 Then God's own peace, which is beyond all understanding, will guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This is exactly what the Anunnaki winged genie gods are doing. Two kings, head, pictured here. They are anointing their heads with oil. Psalm 23. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The basic science is if you can hold back from basically the seven deadly sins and live like Christ, you will get this oil once a month. When your vagus nerve cleans this oil, refines the Christ oil, it enters your ponds, then this pure prophetic oil gains access and coats your pineal gland or third eye. One uragon drugs can help induce this as well as high trauma, near-death experiences, and fight or flight responses. This also can be the fluid that sets and makes you free. John 8.32 Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. You are the Christ within, because we were made in the image of the Anunnaki Elohim. Thank you so much, and peace and love to you. And always remember that you are, and I am, a spirit of God.